Hello, everyone. My name is Piros Giannopoulos, and I'm a research fellow at Indiana University. I would like to thank Sages for the opportunity to present today. These are our disclosures. To start, acute cholecystitis is one of the most prevalent surgical diseases in the United States, with a lifetime prevalence ranging from 10 to 15 percent, and over uh, 200,000 patients being diagnosed with acute cholecystitis annually. Laparoscopic cholecystectomy is the gold standard treatment for this patient population. However, it has been associated with increased perioperative mortality in older patients with severe comorbidities and critical illness. Percutaneous cholecystostomy has been shown to be an effective treatment uh, in this um, patient population and work as a bridge therapy to interval cholecystectomy, which is the definitive, definitive treatment. However, the optimal timing between these two procedures has not been identified yet. In this study, we aim to investigate uh, how the interval between these two procedures um, affects the outcomes, the intraoperative and, out, uh, and postoperative outcomes uh, following the interval cholecystectomy, and also we try to identify the optimal timing um, uh, for the interval cholecystectomy. This is a retrospective single institution study. We included patients who underwent percutaneous cholecystostomy for acute cholecystitis between 2014 and 2022. That was followed by interval cholecystectomy. All patients met the uh, 2018 Tokyo guideline criteria for the diagnosis of acute cholecystitis. We excluded patients with history of hepatobiliary surgery, common bile duct stones, cirrhosis, active malignancy, or those, or those taking chronic immunosuppressive therapy. Uh, we did not include in the analysis patients who had both procedures in the same hospitalization. Those where the cholecystostomy tube failed to control the inflammation and those with aborted cholecystectomy. And finally, cases um, with major concurrent procedures during the cholecystectomy. After obtaining IRB approval, we collected patient baseline characteristics at the time of the index admission and data from both hospitalization at the time of uh, the diagnosis and the cholecystectomy. Uh, we also collected data, um, intraoperative and postoperative data uh, following the interval cholecystectomy. Um, when we analyzed our data doing um, univariative and multivariate linear and logistic regression models, we did two analyses. In the first one, we treated the time interval between the two procedures uh, as a continuous variable, and in the second one, in order to identify the optimal timing, we compared patients uh, using the cutoff of eight weeks for interval cholecystectomy. All analyses were conducted using the Stata statistical analysis software. On this table, you can see the baseline characteristics of our patients. A total of 132 patients were included. And in columns three and four, you can see uh, the two groups of patients, again, using the cutoff of eight weeks. No significant differences were detected in the baseline characteristics. Before the cholecystectomy, 80% of patients required additional imaging. 58% um, of them had a repeat scan, CT scan, 40% uh, holangiography, and 5% MRI or MRCP. Uh, the majority of the cases were elective, and generally the cholecystostomy was removed at the time uh, of the cholecystectomy. Uh, most of the cases were laparoscopic, however, 10% of them um, required to be uh, converted to open, and 16% of the patients required an intraoperative holangiography. After analyzing our data, the median interval between the two procedures was uh, between the two procedures was uh, 9.1 weeks, and on this table you can see the univariate linear regression um, of the timing between the two procedures and how this affects intra and perioperative outcomes. No differences were detected except from the uh, length of ICU stay, where longer. Um, interval between procedures was associated with longer ICU stay. However, those patients uh, tended to be uh, those who had the um, interval cholecystectomy after six months. 
when we compared the two groups, uh, patients who had the interval cholestectomy within eight weeks versus uh, after eight weeks, again, no significant differences were detected uh, in intraoperative and postoperative outcomes. However, um, patients in the delayed cholestectomy group uh, tended to be discharged home more often, and this was, again, statistically significant. Uh, the limitations of our study, um, rare complication and outcomes may need a higher number of uh, patients in order to be able to detect smaller differences. And second, we did not collect any uh, complications related to cholecystostomy placement between uh, the two procedures. So this project might not sufficiently reflect the um, potential complication of cholecystectomy, cholecystostomy placement. To conclude, uh, patients who had uh, cholecystectomy after eight weeks uh, from the placement of cholecystostomy, they were more likely to be discharged home. <clears throat> However, uh, significantly longer um, intervals between the two procedures were associated with uh, longer ICU stay. No differences were detected in the intra- and perioperative outcomes. However, uh, larger multi-institutional studies are required uh, to corroborate our findings. Thank you very much. I would be happy to take any questions. Questions, please. One question. Yes. Not clear to me. Um, you said that those who operated on longer than eight weeks were discharged from you mean the day of the surgery? Uh, I don't, I'm not following. No, we, yeah, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, if you can see in the previous uh, slides, we also collected uh, data from the length of hospitalization. However, this was not significantly different. Uh, we only detected significant differences um, in the length of ICU stay. But this was generally for patients here, you can see. Uh, this was generally for patients who had their uh, interval cholecystectomy after the six months. So it was later during the uh, period of our study. The, the length of stay is after the cholecystectomy in the ICU? Yeah, all the, all the outcomes are the after the cholecystectomy, yeah. Did you notice any differences during the COVID time uh, in terms of how long you had to wait and so on? Or? We didn't do this kind of uh, analysis. However, uh, the number of patients like that were operated during the COVID, they were reduced, so. They were? Yeah, they, were, they reduced the number of patients we had. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.